Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am here today to go over a stretch that you can use on your infant or toddler if they're demonstrating an asymmetry. So what exactly is an asymmetry? An asymmetry is any time that we use one side of the body more than the other for a motor movement that requires both sides of the body to be working the same. So typically with asymmetries, we might see it in sitting where an infant is not activating both sides to sit upright, so they're kind of leaning towards one side. We might see it in crawling if an infant is doing a three-point crawl instead of a crawl on all fours. Sometimes infants also do a butt scoot, which can show an asymmetry and some tightness. And we can also see this when infants are starting to work on pulling to stand. So it might be a preference for always pulling up with one leg or always cruising in one direction. The reason we wanna address the asymmetry is because if that asymmetry continues, the infant actually ends up strengthening one side more than the other, and that furthers the preference for that one side over the other. So one easy way to address this is actually through a trunk stretch. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do it on yourself first, and then how to do it on your infant or toddler. So for the stretch, you just wanna be seated. You're gonna put your arms out in front of you and you're gonna rotate your trunk to both sides and see which side either feels easier or which side you go farther to. I like to have my arms out because I can see which shoulder is going farther. So when I go this side, I'm not going quite as far as when I go this side, I see that this shoulder goes over farther. For this exercise, once you find the easy side, you're actually gonna to stretch towards that side. A little bit different than what we talk about when we're typically working on stretching, but the idea behind this is that when you stretch towards the easy side, you actually are releasing the tight side. So for this exercise, I would stretch to this side for two to three minutes and hold that position as long as it feels comfortable. Now for your infant, there are a couple different ways you can do this exercise. So the first one is that you can have them in your lap. So you can either have them sitting right here in your lap, um, or you can also have them right here, which, which allows you to have a little bit more um, stability on their pelvis. It just depends on how tall they are if you're able to rotate them kind of around your legs. So for this exercise, you're gonna do the same thing you've just done you, but you're gonna do it on your infant. So you're gonna have them sitting right here. You're gonna rotate to each side. For this infant, we're gonna say that this was the easier side. If you can't tell, try doing it in front of a mirror because sometimes if sometimes you'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to feel, wow, they go a lot farther to that side. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to feel it. So when that happens, I find it's easier to go in front of a mirror and then I can see which side the shoulder goes further on. So for this infant, this is the side that was easier. So I'm gonna stretch them to this side. And a lot of times I will actually put them on the floor um, and I'll kind of use my leg as a prop. So I will have them rotated to this side. I'll pull a toy out for them to play with here. And then you can, if you want to do more for this stretch, you can actually go and take their bottom leg and do a lower leg twist in the opposite direction. So I tend to kind of come through here and pull the lower area into one area of rotation and then the upper is going in the opposite direction. You can also just do the upper one if that's easier and that is totally fine. If your infant doesn't tolerate sitting there in the stretch for two to three minutes, you can also do rotations of it. So you can have them sitting and you can have them coming over to one side and touching a piano or grabbing a thing of beads or touching a ball and kind of can work on that rotation piece if they won't hold it. I find that most of the time if there's something interesting over here, the infant will hold the position for a little while uh, and then I'm able to get a really good stretch in. The other way you can do this stretch is actually on the ground um, when the infant is laying down. And for this one, you're gonna bend their hips up, you're gonna hold their knees with one hand and then you're gonna rotate the body to each side. So you're gonna rotate here, you're gonna rotate here. On one side, the shoulder's gonna come up like this, 
and typically on another side, the shoulder stays down. The side that the shoulder stays down would be the easier side. So we're gonna say that this side, the shoulder stayed down. So I'm gonna rotate towards this direction. Um, and you can have toys up here to entertain baby, um, or you can be singing and kind of talking back and forth with them. The important thing to note about this exercise is that you only do it to the easy side. So once you identify that easy side, you're just gonna do it to that side. The important thing about the stretch as well is that you always just wanna check and make sure you're doing the right side each day because sometimes the tightness can change. Doesn't typically, but sometimes it does. So you always just before you do the stretch, just wanna check again, yep, that's still the easy side and then rotate to that side. If you have any questions regarding your infant's development or infant treatment, please feel free to reach out and we'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks so much.